Hello Aquarius, welcome back to my channel and thank you for being here with me today. So let's do your energy check-in and see what is coming up for you and also what messages that you need to hear. Also, if you have purchased a reading from me and heard nothing, could you please check your spam um, account because I have emailed you a few times, but I can't get in touch. So I'm not sure if I have the same email address and I wouldn't like to send your reading to a stranger. So please email me if you are still waiting on an order. OK, let's get started with today's reading, Aquarius. We will use the Starseed Oracles today, I think. These images are beautiful. This reading won't be as long as the previous ones. I'm in a bit of a rush, but I did want to jump on quick because I felt there was a message here for someone. If you would like a personal reading with me, Aquarius, you can find that information in the description of the video. I've got a website there with all the types of readings that I do and my prices and the latest deals. There's still a sale on at the moment, so be sure to check that out. And bear in mind, Aquarius, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else. And if you have any questions, email me. My email address is also found in the description of the video. And just so some of you are aware, my name is Jade. I am an Aquarius myself and I created this channel so that I can connect with more of you out there. Okay, Aquarius, so we have three cards for you and they are very gorgeous cards I can see here so the first one we have is earth school and this one tells me that there is a lesson that you need to be learning Aquarius so you may be going through an experience right now you need to know that this is to level you up and so you can grow from it I do see life lessons here and I do see you evolving if some of you have been considering doing some studying or growth yourself, maybe working on yourself, you are being encouraged to do this Aquarius. If you are going through a difficult time Aquarius, maybe a connection you have with someone is struggling right now or you are regretting past mistakes, you need to give yourself some understanding and remember that you have came here to grow and learn. You are human after all and that is how we grow the best really by making mistakes and not repeating them. So don't feel bad and also don't get too caught up in any negative emotions surrounding a struggling connection because this is happening for a reason. And I do see it becoming more clear for you as events unfold. You will also grow a lot from this as well. Now this card here tells me that some of you have been neglecting your own needs. It's now time for you to give yourself some self-love. You need to take care of your body, your mind and your soul. Give yourself that nourishment that your body is craving right now. Give yourself some tenderness as well as you go through this period in your life. If you are going through a difficult time, it's best to rest up and give yourself that time to recover. For others of you, this is a reminder that you are a priority Aquarius and you haven't been making yourself a priority. You need to hold back some energy and love for yourself instead of giving it all away so freely. You deserve some too. So make sure you have your own back and you give yourself that time, energy, love and care that you've been giving to other people. You've got the love. You know that song, You've Got the Love by Florence and the Machine. It's a brilliant song and I think the lyrics will mean something to you right now. So listen to it. Or if that comes on the radio, then it also validates this reading even further because that song is playing in my head right now. This, so this, sorry, this song, <laughs> this card tells me that it's time for you to set yourself some healthy boundaries. Don't let people overstep the mark and don't lose yourself in a relationship. Remember who you are. You need to remember that 
you are your own hero here you do not need anyone else you don't need to depend on anyone else because some of you may have done that out of feeling anxious perhaps or powerless in a connection because you don't want to be on your own don't give someone that power over you you will be just fine trust me now let's jump in with the tarot cards aquarius I'm curious to see what these have to say for you. I will be finding out what is coming up for you. I will ask how will this affect you? What advice does the tarot cards have for you? And what will be the outcome if you do or do not take this advice? So we'll, we will dive deep here and get you some answers. If you are enjoying this reading so far, Aquarius, please would you consider subscribing to my channel? I would love to have you here. I do Aquarius readings a few times a week, actually, and the community on this channel is phenomenal. It's so supportive. So please hit that subscribe and come and join us. And if you could drop a little like and a comment on this video, that would be fantastic and very much appreciated. Let me know where you're from. It fascinates me to see where this video is reaching. I do think YouTube is amazing for connecting pe different types of people around the world. And as an Aquarius, I embrace all of that. I love it. I'm supportive. Oh, that went flying. I'm supportive of all cultures, all different backgrounds, religions, um, Every, everything I just I'm sure as an Aquarius as well you, you are the same quite open-minded it's one of our one of our many traits qualities that we have sorry I'm getting a little, a little uh, sidetracked here we have a lot of cards for this first question so I'm just going to put these over here and give them a little pile of their own we will go through them all don't worry now let's see how will this situation affect you Okay, Aquarius, we've got two for that one. Right, interesting. Okay, let's get you some advice. There we go. Oh, the sun, nice. Okay. What will be the outcome if you take this advice? Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you don't take this advice, let's see the outcome. Right. I know you can't see all of the cards don't worry I, I will show you them all as we go through it I just haven't got a big enough table I'm afraid but um it will I know it looks chaotic right now but I, I will break it down I promise so Aquarius the first thing is what I see coming up for you the first thing I can see here Aquarius is that you may be holding on to some past trauma or old memories that is causing you to feel a negative way you will be noticing this pattern that you found yourself in and I see you diving deep into some shadow work and releasing these old memories so that you can follow your heart and let go. You are releasing these emotions so that you can step into a new energy. You want a fresh start away from these old stories and this is how you will do it. You will reconnect with your emotions, awaken your heart, transform your own narrative with love and understanding. You will bring love into this even if that love is for yourself. It will put an end to this old cycle and help you transform into a new version of yourself. 
new beliefs, newfound awareness will help you to reconnect and there will be an end to any negative emotions that have been affecting you. But I do see that you will struggle to adjust to this new way of thinking. This growth will not be easy, growth never is, especially when we are trying to reprogram our brain and say goodbye to old habits that may have been embedded in us for a long time. Your emotions will be up and down and I see you may find yourself feeling triggered easily. But this is giving you an opportunity to notice these triggers so that you can grow from this. You will also be noticing that you've been treating yourself unfairly and being your worst critic. This negative self-talk is a reflection of a negative experience that you've gone through or perhaps some toxic connections. Whatever you say to yourself is a lie. It's coming from a scared place, a place where you felt vulnerable and you found that blaming yourself was the better option than seeing bad in other people. But this is not true, Aquarius. I see that with this new experience you will be going through and this new awareness, you will be able to see that others are expecting a little bit too much from you. And I think you're going to be taking back this energy. I feel like a connection may be unbalanced here. This is you putting some research in this and really noticing what is going on around you here. I see you doing some research, delving in, going backwards and get really getting to the root cause of, cause of this. And when you actually see the truth, when you realise um, what is actually going on and what has been going on, you're going to feel a sense of relief. And this is something that you will be celebrating. You will have a victory here. And this is you reconnecting with yourself. It's a big, big win for you, Aquarius. This is something that will level you up. This is something that will help you to have the confidence to stand loud and proud in your own skin and be comfortable with who you are. This is wonderful. Aquarius, your advice here is to remember that better days are coming and remain positive throughout the dark times. Do what you need to do. Don't put off um, anything that you should be doing. So if falling into the old habits is easier way for you you're being advised against this just stick with it because you will teach yourself um, a new way of thinking and this will really help you remain positive and and stand in your own truth be don't be afraid to show the world the real you and and accept you for who you are the right people will do that the right people will be in your corner and they will accept you you're being guided to stay focused on the end goal here. You want happiness and you deserve it. You really do deserve to be happy for all you've been through. If anyone deserves this Aquarius, it's you. Don't give up. You need to not take harmful shortcuts or put things off because it's easier. You need to, you need to work hard at this and remain committed to this because if you do I see you having a lot of clarity here you will be able to see things clearly for a very long time this is you leveling up Aquarius reaching for new heights challenging yourself and after a very long fight after a long um, time of difficulties I see that you will recover and this will give you the rest, the reassurance and the recovery, the healing that you deserve. This is you giving yourself the permission to heal and to say, no, I, I deserve to have self-care and self-love as well. Anything that is not allowing me to have that, including my mindset. It needs to go and this needs to change because that is not the person who I truly am. It's just been planted there, uh, maybe off a toxic connection, for example, or an experience. 
It gets planted there out of fear, Aquarius. If we're scared, we tell ourselves that it's our fault that we can't do this because it's easier to blame ourselves than to actually face up to what's really going on and think bad of other people. So remember, you deserve to heal. I do see recovery here. I see that this journey will give you that. It will give you that peace of mind. It will allow you to rest and just really take some time out to breathe and make sure that you are okay because you are the priority. If you don't take this advice, Aquarius, I have over here, you still focused on the wrong thing, heading towards something with great speed and remaining um, blind to what is going on. Your eyes will remain shut, Aquarius, and you will not be able to see what is going on in front of you. This is you being deluded, really, from a reality. You will create a version of yourself and stick with it. You will listen to the negative voices or you will allow whatever this is that's holding you back to continue to control your life. And it's a sense of breadcrumbing. You will celebrate anything that you get from this situation and anything that anything positive you will you will cling on to as if it's gold. But it's not gold. You deserve better. You don't need to celebrate anything petty or little. You deserve far more greater than this. So even though this may create some positivity some of the time, you don't have to settle for it because there's a lot of negative attached to this energy Aquarius. This can be in regards to anything really. It could be a job, a connection, um, past experiences, negative mindset, anything holding you back, don't give it that power. Take that power back for yourself and you will feel a lot happier. Let me get you some charms, Aquarius. Oh, we have three here. We've got a little um, a belly bar. It's my symbol for you may have a body piercing and that validates that reading even further for you. And it's a two-winged heart as well. It is representing freedom, being a free spirit, having the freedom to think and also carrying your prayers to God. So God will be listening if you believe in God. I have waves here letting you know that you are going to overcome life's ups and downs. I do see changes as well coming up for you and overcoming any obstacles that stand in your way. We've got a lovely little butterfly here as well, letting me know that loved ones in spirit are around you at this time, so keep an eye out for butterflies. There's also going to be a transformation happening in your life, which is what we were saying in your reading. Aquarius, I've really loved this reading. I hope you have as well, and it has helped you. I want to wish you a fantastic week ahead. Please come back for another reading with me. I'd love to have you back. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Love and light Aquarius. Take care, stay safe and above all else, be happy. Bye for now.